Hi, it's Miss Cosplay, and welcome to my channel. Okay, so the first thing I did was block out my eyebrows, and pretty much all I did was just put spirit gum over them, like two or three layers of that. And then I took a eye piece, which I had made out of just a thin layer of tacky glue that I had painted a eyeball on, and I used a little bit of spirit gum and actually glued that a little bit above where my actual eye is, simply because I thought it gave it a kind of creepier look if it was a little bit higher. Now I totally forgotten to record this part, I do apologize for that. All I did was take some tissue and roll it up into a really thick worm shape and then I used liquid latex on one side of it to tack it to my face in a very Cheshire Cat like grin. And then I took some fur that I had cut out to fit that and just used a little bit of liquid latex and a little bit of spirit gum over the top of that. Now the reason for the tissue is not only going to be for a place to put your teeth later on, but it's also going to be the bear's gums. Next up is a piece of fur that I had actually cut a half circle in so it shows the eye piece. And it's a little bit long on one side, but I'm going to be pinning that over my ear and into my hair because I don't want my ear to show. And I'm just going to put liquid latex on the back of that and a little bit of spare gum on all the edges. I do not recommend this at all, but I just pinned my hair back and then trimmed off the excess fur. I do not recommend it at all because you could accidentally cut your hair and that just would not be good. Okay, so next I'm taking just some ordinary black face paint out of just a little Halloween palette I had, and I'm going to fill in the mouth and the gums. Okay, so once I have that all done, I'm going to take my makeup sponges, it's just the little triangular sponges, and I'm going to cut those in half, and then I'm going to trim those up to be thin enough and short enough to fit in my makeshift mouth. I actually tried using spirit gum to glue these in, but I actually found out that liquid latex worked a lot better due to the fact that the spirit gum seemed to just soak into the sponges.
Okay, next I had made these little strips of flesh um, a couple nights before, and all I did was take and layered liquid latex with the thin pieces of tissue, and it was probably about three or four layers thick. And then I just used the same Halloween palette in the flesh tones to make it match my skin. And so all I'm doing is just taking a little bit of spirit gum and lightly gluing those to the edges where the fur meets my actual skin. I'm just gluing that down my forehead, around my nose, and on top and bottom of my lips. So pretty much if there's any extra skin, you can just pull that off because then it leaves a more jagged edge and then I'm just going to take a little bit more liquid latex and run it along the edges. Next I'm going to take the Halloween palette again and I'm going to fill in the nose part. Next I'm going to take the red out of that palette and a bigger paintbrush and I'm going to run that along the edges of the flesh pieces to make it look a little bloody. And then also going to go over it with a little bit of purple, very lightly, to give a sort of bruised look. I'm then also going to pull the red onto the fur to add more blood. And I'm going to do that along the seam of the flesh as well as around the mouth and also adding some to the teeth.
Next I'm just going to go over and do my normal makeup on the other side, which is pretty minimal simply because I'm doing a boy look. And then lastly, I'm going to clip in the ear that I made, and that's it.